Hi, I'm Ralph Dahm. I'm Director of Scientific Management at the Institute of Molecular Biology in Mainz, Germany. I would like to explain to the PhD students and postdocs of Human Technopole that it's not only important to do great science, as I'm sure they do, but that it's equally important in many contexts to also communicate this science well. Because otherwise, sometimes even if you have made a big discovery, you're not noticed. There are in fact a number of examples of scientists who made truly big discoveries, groundbreaking discoveries. But still, today, we don't know their names anymore. We don't know who they were and what they did. One example is Friedrich Miescher, a Swiss physician who in the late 19th century discovered DNA, arguably the most important molecule we know about in biology. But still, hardly anyone, including many biologists, don't know who discovered DNA or who Friedrich Miescher was. It's not the only reason, but one of the reasons why Misha today is forgotten is because he was not very good at communicating his science. Especially as a junior scientist, as a PhD student or postdoc, you have to make a name for yourself. You need to become known in the scientific community to get jobs, to get funding, and maybe also to help you a little bit to get your papers published. To be able to do that, you need to get your science out there. You need to make the world enthusiastic about your findings, your discoveries. If you communicate your discoveries well, this helps an awful lot. That's why I think junior scientists should learn how to communicate well, so that they can convince the world when they have found something important. There are many things you should bear in mind to communicate effectively. But if I were to name just three of them, I would say the first is whenever you communicate, think of your audience. You never communicate for yourself you always communicate for your audience. So bear in mind what are they interested in, what excites them, and possibly also what bores them or what you shouldn't say. What do they need to know to understand what you're talking about? Very important, if you bear your audience in mind, you have a much better chance at connecting with them. The second thing I would consider very important is keep it simple. If you overload your communication with details, with complex language, with jargon, technical details, you tend to bore people and they will switch off. So keep it simple, keep it interesting, and you maintain their attention. And finally, I would say what I have learned over the years is prepare whenever you have an important communication, for example, an important talk. Many experienced scientists think they experienced enough to not have to prepare anymore. They go into a talk, and think, I don't need to prepare, I don't need to practice, I know what I'm talking about. And oftentimes they don't give that good talks. PhD students and postdocs, on the other hand, who are often more nervous about giving talks, don't make that mistake. They prepare, they practice, and as a consequence, they often give the better talks. So as you advance in your careers, don't fall into the trap of not preparing anymore. Keep your level up and keep preparing, even though you may become very experienced at some point.